the silver rock, did the weary lay, he's a shelter in a tiny storm. A city by day, defense by night, but he's a shelter in a tiny storm. No fear of us, no fall of but he's a shelter in a tiny storm. Don't you know that he's a silver rock in a weary land? Jesus is the rock in a weary land. He's a shelter in a time of storm. The raging storm may around us be. He's a shelter in a time of storm. We'll never leave our safe retreat. He's a shelter in a time of storm. Well, don't you know that Jesus is the rock in a weary land? In a weary leg, he was shepherd in a time of storm. Oh, rock, the fire, oh, the refuge, he was shepherd in a time of storm. Be thy by ever, ever near, he was shepherd in a time of storm. Hey, don't you know that Jesus is a rock in a weary leg? In a weary land, he the shepherd in a time. Hey, don't you know that Jesus is the rock? In a weary land, weary land, weary land, Jesus is the rock. In a weary land, he the shepherd in a time of storm. Hallelujah. Y'all believe that? 243. Sing like you think. 343. Till this sun shall end, it won't be very long. Till the end I shall be sick, and then let it cry. From this love they shall rise to meet the Lord again. Beep. 
that rests the throne that gives everybody for the day you won't be there. Church of Christ in St. Petersburg, Florida. Yes, and his subject this morning, the whole duty of the sin. Wow. The whole duty of the sin. Yeah. He'll be dealing with Isaiah, the 55th chapter, verse 3, and Matthew 7, 21, and wherever else he wants to go. Mm. And uh, so we, we, we're going to uh, sing a few more songs and and then uh, <coughs> Brother Seth will come follow. When we reach that city of the New Jersey, oh, we gotta sing, sing. How the rest of the singers will together. Well, we gotta sing, sing. Some of the members from the Pine Crest Park uh, that are here as well. 
Well, I have been assigned uh, to speak on this subject, the whole duty of the sinner. Mm -hmm. well, Isaiah 55, 3 says, Incline your ears and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Israel didn't do it, so he felt he had to uh, perfect this thing uh, by sending his son. But uh, it didn't happen under Moses, but uh, it was the promise made to Abraham that his seed would be blessed. Yes. And then he said, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that what? Doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Oh, yeah. I know y'all know the meaning of a sinner. Yeah. Uh, 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 the dictionary defines someone who has done something wrong according to, it's a religious or uh, a moral law. Uh, the moral law is, is good and we gotta keep that, but we concerned now about getting the saved. Jesus didn't leave heaven because everybody was saved. That's right, that's right. Huh? The Bible say y'all have sinned. You uh, oh, say y'all? Oh, well, thank you brother. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Am I right about it? Yeah, all of us. So um, I may not do the lesson justice, but I want you to know that when I, I, I teach it on the outside, I do it a different way. I don't start here. I, I start, I say, sinner. I want you to recognize that you are a sinner, that you have violated uh, 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 God's law. Is that all right? In some way, another. Some say, uh, 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 I'm a good person, I'm a good this, I'm a good that. Well, that's why Jesus left heaven. Huh? There was a lot of good people, but all had what? Sin. Had violated God's laws. Man, uh, sin separate man from God. And that's the thing that we ought to get over to them, that uh, you are separated from God. Unless you make that change, it's going to be a spiritual death. The center whole duty is to seek the Lord uh -huh. That's right. while he may be found. Uh, our young people think we got a whole lot of time. But I want you to know, uh, you can read it, Ephesians chapter 2, uh, 11, 12 on down through 16. The reason the sinner should seek the Lord, the Bible says because the sinner, he is separated from Christ. The Bible says sinners are alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, strangers to the covenant of promise. Sinners have no hope and without God in the world. And we as his children got to quit being scared to tell them that you have no hope and without God in the world until you make the necessary arrangement to seek God. Incline that ear to his word. Uh, Isaiah 55, and we'll just read one through three and we try to get on through the lesson. Uh, he said, Ho, everyone uh, that thirsts, mm -hmm. come ye to water. And he that has no money, came by this thing, come ye, buy and eat, yet come by wine and made without, without money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and with price. Yeah. Wherefore do you spend money? You know, you know how they do it, huh? For what which is not bread, huh? And you labor for that which satisfies. Oh my goodness! Uh, seven days a week, somewhere, but no, I'm good. Uh, he said, "Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight in itself in fatness." Incline your ear, listen. Come unto me, hear, your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Even to the mercies of David. You know, Jeremiah reminds us, he gives us an example of a sinner that is uh, seeking the Lord. Jeremiah 6, 16, our uh, ASV version. Thou sayest, Jehovah, stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old path, 
where is the what? Good way. And I got the food way, huh? Uh, 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 but it's the good way. Am, am I right about it? Oh, oh, Miss Print that. Walk therein. Am I right about it? Uh, and ye shall find rest for your soul. But they said, we will not walk therein. Uh, I want you to know that ain't all on the outside. Help me somebody. There's some on the inside too that says that. I'm right about Jeremiah. Uh, I want to let us know that the sinner should seek the Lord while he can be what? Maybe found. Because he may not be found all the time. Huh? Uh, 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 but if one turn away his ear from hearing God's law, even the Bible say his prayers is an abomination, Proverbs 28, 19, and Isaiah 59 and 2. He said, uh, when your iniquities, say, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither is his ears heavy that he cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated you and your God. When your sins have uh, caused God to hide his face from you so that he will not hear. Proverbs, uh, 21, Proverbs 1 and verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, he said, and I will not answer. But they tell you, I know God answered. I, I know this, I know this. Well, you know too much. Right. Mm -hmm. They shall seek me early. But the Bible said he will not find him. Right. Isaiah the prophet uh, said, seek him in due time. Mm -hmm. A while he may be found. Oh, yeah. And that is our responsibility when we run into someone that know not God in the pardon of their sins. Mm -hmm. He said, Isaiah, see, <laughs> seek ye Jehovah. <laughs> while he may be found. Call upon him while uh, he is here. Let the wicked, he said, forsake his ways, and the what unrighteous man his thoughts. And let everyone return unto Jehovah, and he will have mercy. That's why we tell him, God will have mercy upon you. And to our God, for he will what? Abundantly pardon. In, in the penal system. Uh, you get a rap sheet and you keep that rap sheet every time you go to the jail. They, 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 they look at that rap sheet to see whether you made any improvements. And if you have them, they're going to bring it up again. But uh, uh, in Christ, when he forgives us, us our sins, boy, he forgives us. See, a sinner must seek the Lord with a broken heart, a contrite spirit. He got a warm up. Change. Am I right about it? Amen. Psalms 34 18. Jehovah is not unto them that are with a broken heart and save us uh, 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 with a contrite spirit. Psalms 51 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken heart and bind up their wounds. Matthew 3 5 3 said, Blessed are the what? Poor in spirit. For they shall, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Proverbs 16, um, 19. Better is he be of a humble spirit yes, with the lowly than to divide the spoils with the proud. Proverbs 29, 32. A proud man shall bring him low. But honor shall uphold the humble spirit. Isaiah kept on writing, Isaiah 57, 15, for thy said, the high and the lowly one, the inhabitants eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also. That is of a contrite and human spirit to revive the spirit, the spirit of the humble. What do I do to be saved? When you're seeking, you need to know what you need to do to be saved. Yeah. The Bible teaches that sin is the transgression of God's law, 1 John 3, 4. Yeah. And all people who know the difference between right and wrong have sinned. Am I right about that? 
Ah, the Bible says, for what all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sin is not a good thing. Sin is one of our worst enemies. Yes, sin separates us from God. Yeah. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2, as we said, the punishment of sin is death. Yeah. Romans 6, 23 says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Oh, this is the second death, which is the lake of fire, Revelation 21, 8. I want you to know, church, that, and, and, and those who know not God in the pardon of their sin, that God loved us. That's why he gave his only begotten son to come and to die for us. Am I right about that? Uh, 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 he does not want us to be punished for our sin. So what did he do? He gave us specific directions. Yes, on what it takes to be saved, oh, yeah. and that's laid on down the line, but he also tells us how to stay, stay saved. Yeah. Therefore, he has provided a way uh, for us to be forgiven. John 3, 16, huh? yeah. it is. It's his son died. First John 4, that Jesus suffered the punishment which we should have received for our sins. Yes, Isaiah 53, 4 and 6. Yeah. He did not die for his own sins. Uh, for now, 7 Corinthians 5, 12. He suffered for our sins, church, on that cross uh -huh. that we might be forgiven. Yes, he came while we were yet sinners. The Bible says Christ died for us. You can look at Romans 5, 6, and 8, 1 Peter uh, 2, 24. In order for us to be forgiven for our sin, and in order for you to be forgiven of your sin, and therefore, receive eternal life. Mm -hmm. We must, and you must accept salvation yeah. uh, according to the plans which Christ has made possible. Uh -huh. yeah. Not according to some man or some woman, yeah. uh, some church law, but according uh, to the authority of God. Psalms, I, I, I believe, um, um, 119, I believe it is in verse 89, say, forever, Oh Lord, that word is settled in heaven. So I want you to know you're going to be judged by what is written in these books. Huh? Yeah. Uh, there are five steps which we must uh, uh, take in order to enter a saved relationship with Christ. And I don't know no other. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 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 and if there is a other, another, and I mess up the brother and the straighten it out, but I think it's only five steps. And, uh, you know, and when you begin to teach, a person that don't know God, right? they say, is that all? Lord, I'm <laughs> Is that all? That's, what's that, brother? That's enough? First, we must hear the gospel about what Jesus, what, died, buried, and rose the third day according to the scripture. The Bible teaches that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. One is not a Christian because his parents are. Help me somebody. Uh, just as sin is not inherited, neither is faith. <laughs> Ezekiel 18, 20. Each person must believe in Jesus Christ for himself. Am I right about it? Christianity is a religion of teaching. Amen. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. You remember when they came, Jesus said, uh, all power has, he speak unto them, said, all power has been given Unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptize the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe something. All things. Whoa, whoa, boy, I got some Christian here. All things. Whatsoever I command you, and lo, I'm with you always. Even until the end of the world. Being a sinner, one has heard, if he heard the gospel and learned that Jesus Christ died for his sin, was buried, <coughs> and, uh, 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 and rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. If you don't know that, he cannot, and if you know, cannot be seen. Right. See, the apostle Paul wrote, how shall they call on him for who they have not believed? Yeah. And how shall they uh, what believe on him yeah, whom they have not what? Heard. 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 And how shall they hear about a preacher, Romans 10, 14. One must first hear and understand the gospel before he 
can believe. Amen. What he heard. Amen. Uh, the second step uh, after the first step was hearing, the second is uh, believing. Believe it. One must believe that Jesus is the Christ. Yes, sir. The Son of the living God. Huh? Yeah. Jesus said, I say therefore unto you yes, sir. that ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am, ye shall die in your sins. 824. That's for the other smarter ministers and stuff that get on those debates about that. You know, uh, people uh, say that, uh, that Jesus is not the Son of God and all this about our Lord and Savior. But I thank God for uh, the jailer at Philippi. He asked Paul and Silas, Sir, what must I do to be saved? That's somebody that was honestly seeking, huh? wanted to save his soul. And they said, and they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house, Acts 16, 30 and 31. Yes, uh, some of them just try to take that, Brother Johnson, say, all right, just because they believe. No, there's some more to do, yes, huh? Agreed. There's some more to do. Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, right? And he that believeth not shall be saved be damned. Let me tell you one thing about it. When you hear the word of God, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you got to believe that it is the word of God. Am, am I right about it? We got to be like uh, 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 1 Samuel 3.10. Uh, uh, you, remember, you remember the man, right? Uh, 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 Y'all can let him know. Uh, Say, speak low. Huh? Huh? That servant, what? Hear it. Am I right about it? So, so, Man, it's sad when you're trying to teach the word of God and you're trying to tell them that and then they don't believe in what you're saying and you let them read it right out of the Bible. I try not to read for them. Amen. I try to show it to them that they see that it's the word of God and I know y'all probably could quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation but sometimes you got to let them know that you're coming out of the Bible and right about it and let them read it there. Uh, one come to believe it uh, uh, in Jesus Christ uh, when he hears the word of God, Romans 10, 17. Uh, this is the reason it is so important that the gospel be preached to the whole world. Uh -huh. yes. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Uh, one thing about it, when you come to the body of Christ and in the body of Christ, we don't report, we teach repent. Yes. Uh, the third, one must repent of his sins yes, in order to be saved. Acts 17, 30 and 31. You know what I'm saying? In the time of those ignorance, God winked at it, but now he commanded men everywhere to repent. Jesus commanded that repentance uh, and remission of sin should be preached in his name to all the nations, to all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Where these Hebrew Israelites talking about uh, they wasn't included, huh? This was to all the nations that were back. Luke, Luke, Luke 24, 17. Repentance is a result of being godly sorrow for one sin. Am I right about it? 2 Corinthians uh, 7, 10. When the Jews on Pentecost learned uh, from Peter that they had crucified. Remember, on uh, uh, 36, Therefore let the house of Israel know it's surely that the same Jesus who you crucified, that God had made him both Lord and Christ, and they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the other eleven, men and brothers, what shall we do? What, what did y'all say? Do, do. Oh, okay, not get. Huh? You can't get nothing until you do something. Am I right about it? Yeah, he said, uh, he said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let me hear what think about it. It puts you, when you follow through, and we're not finished yet, with this, it gives you a covenant relationship to Almighty God. Amen. And when he was speaking all this before, it was an invitation to the lost. We must always do an invitation to those that are lost. Amen. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, all right? When one repent, he turns away from his sin. Supposed to anyway, right? First step on one nine. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, sir. He should repent by doing, uh, huh? Yes, sir. 
Amen. Yeah, you're going to do some good works, but works alone will not save you. Then you must confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Am I right about it? Ah, the great truth about Jesus Christ being the Son of the living God, that's the foundation. Uh, upon which the church of Christ is built. Amen. Matthew 16 18, Acts 4, 11 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yes. Jesus said that we must be willing to manifest him before men mm -hmm. if we want him to confess us before our Father which is in heaven. He said, if we deny him, Matthew 10, 32 and 33, before me and him will he, de uh, 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 he deny us before his father, which is in heaven. The apostle Paul wrote, but what said it? The word is now thee. Even in the mouth and in thine heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe uh, uh, in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. He said, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10, 8, and 10. But watch this. When Philip preached Jesus, you remember to the Ethiopian unit. Yeah. It wasn't the preacher that said, see, here's water. Come on. Huh? <laughs> it was the cinnamon. Yeah. Ah, said, so see, here's water. Huh? Yes, sir. What do with him to me to be baptized? Yeah. Then Philip told him that he could be baptized <laughs> if he yeah. believed. You see, the unit then confessed. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Acts 8, 35 through 38. Ah, uh, say both Philip and the unit. What is that, brother? Went down? What about the cup? What about the sprinkling? Huh? Wasn't sprinkling? They both went down into the water. When he came up, he went on his way what? Man, let me tell you one thing about it. When we teach this message, you got to understand that if you obey it, you're going to rejoice too. Yes, sir. Man, when you lost, Preach, preacher. that ain't a good thing. You no, know, sometimes you're riding down the road, but the Southern's there, and uh, 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 the wife may have told you, say, wasn't that the exit? <laughs> huh? No, that ain't the exit. I know, I, I know what I'm doing. I, I'm going, then you ride 20 more miles. <laughs> And then you say, baby, that, uh, that must be next. I got to turn around and go back. Woo. Huh? See, you got to realize that we must make this important confession in order to be saved. Yes, sir. That's why when you uh, uh, read Romans there, that uh, 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 that was unto and we need to be baptized into. The fifth step, one must be baptized in order to be saved. Yes. Jesus said, he that believeth, once again, and is baptized, yes. shall be saved. Please note that baptism follows belief. One who does not believe the gospel cannot be truly baptized. Am I right about that? Yes. Therefore, oh, I better hit this before we sit down. <laughs> Babies cannot be baptized. Well, they are too young. Am I right about that too? Yeah. Too young to have sin. Am I right about that? Yeah. Hear the gospel. Yeah. Repent of your sins. Am I right about it? Confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Be baptized. Is that all right? Yeah. On the day of Pentecost, Peter told those who asked what to do to be saved. We don't have a whole lot of people seeking. We don't have a whole lot of people asking. Huh? They think they're already saved. You can sing, I'm on my way to heaven because Jesus woke you up this morning. He said, Jesus lifted me, huh? 
But that's not necessarily so if you haven't done what he said. One cannot be truly baptized who has not repented. Baptism is a burial in water. Colossians 2, 12 and Romans 6, uh, 34. Therefore, sprinkling and pouring is not a proper baptism. And we just need to tell you, if you haven't done it God's way, that you are lost and you're still in your sin. And while you're here today, if you're not a member of that, you need to, you realize that you've heard, do you believe what you've heard from God's word? We give scriptures, and we'll even give you the lesson, but uh, 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 it's all right to pass out tracts. Can I say this before we sit down? It's all right to pass out tracts, but if you don't know what you're reading, Come on. Well, you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, 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 a lot of times we pass them out there and stuff, and they look at that. They don't even know where to begin, you know? And sometimes we pass it out, and we don't know where to point them to. <laughs> Come on, preach, to start at that and stuff. So uh, I was taught that uh, you don't ever give out nothing that you haven't read. Uh, that you don't know about that stuff. Uh, it was told by the guy selling Bibles and stuff there, and they asked him how many he bought. And you better not tell him no. <laughs> what they might be in the sales of that stuff. When you don't believe in your product, we want you to know that we believe in the Bible. Uh, uh, it's our basic instruction before leaving earth and all that go to heaven. One is not saved before he is baptized. Baptism is for the remission of sin. So you, see, you see, God is up here. Sin is here and man is down here. Until he is baptized, uh, uh, and when he is baptized, sin is removed, man is still here, but Jesus is there making intercession to God on our, on our behalf. Just as Jesus shed his blood for the remission of sin, we are baptized in order to receive the remission, uh, uh, forgiveness for the remission of uh, our sin. Baptism. In baptism, the sin of sins are washed away by the blood of Jesus. Acts 22, 16. Yep. You know, uh, am I right? Is that right? That's Saul yes, Paul. Why? Tear it down. Why are you waiting? He said, rise and be baptized and wash away your sin, calling on the name of the Lord. I remember... This lady uh, was seemed to be well versed in the Bible, and she came back, and I said, um, um, just before Brother Walker got up to speak, I said, I see you got those tennis shoes on, and I see you kind of dressed down. I said, uh, uh, you look like you're ready to go uh, this morning. I said, now when the invitation song is sung, uh, uh, don't hold to the seat. I said, let go of the seat and just come on out front. You know she did. It. Amen. People need help sometimes. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, 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 in the olden days, Brother Southern, Brother Cross, there and stuff there, you remember the minister used to walk down the aisle? Yeah. Huh? As, as he delivered the message, and, um, uh, uh, and, and, and the song leader singing, and he sing him out there and stuff, and that person looked like they want to. I don't see them do that, that brother, and, and step back. Oh, yeah. The center, you got to see it. Your very soul depends on life and death. When you die, I want you to know. As we close. Right. Yeah. And it's for the Christian man as well if he don't live right. Amen. Heaven will not be ours as well. That's right. But it's surely yours if you don't put him on in the watery grave Boy. of baptism. Yes, the Lord asks us to, huh? We go and get these glasses taken care of so that we can see real good. <laughs> <clears throat> we close the church. Might, I, I don't know the name of it. Help me out, Brother Lee. Um, we might need to go to the ear doctor, too. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. John 12, 48, the Bible says, He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my word, the words that I have spoken, the same you will judge you in the last day. You don't want to go before the Lord and say that when those speakers on the Labor Day lectureship will speak and you just turn a deaf ear. Yeah. Unto them. Oh, he'll bring it up again. Believe me, you. It will come up again. Seek him. Why he may be fine. God bless you and thank you. And if you have any questions, uh, you can see by the cross.